Hello, Foster. Greetings. I'm Laura. And Joe. Welcome to the Slovak Farm. This is the farm where we grow cross stitch. One stitch at a time. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It's Monday, October 24th. We still have another Monday in October because Halloween is on Monday. I'm not going to have a fun Monday. Why are you not going to have a fun Monday? Work? Well, okay. If I was at the shop, I might put something on, but I'm not going to be at the shop, so I can't put anything on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the feed store across the street has announced that they are passing out trick or treat candy <sighs> Halloween night, so I may have some extra candy flip on the light. In case anybody does venture over here. Last year we had nobody. I'm seriously tempted to get a piece of cardboard. Or put, ooh, that's not a good idea, actually. What? Get a cardboard box out of there, break it up so it's big and flat, and just strum it up so we have candy. Well, that's why I was going to put the light on. You know, there. I, I'll put it so the light shines on the sign, but... I'm not taking any chances. If people look, I want to be, I want to have the little kid see the word candy and go, Mom! Depending on how warm it is, I may sit outside. We shall see. So, um, how was y'all's week? Mine was an adventure. It was crazy busy. Oh, and our cable box died Tuesday because we had a little power outage. Well, no, the problem was we had a power outage followed by a bunch of spike ons that lasted for like all no, we 10 had seconds. Spike ons followed by a power outage. Oh, no, during the power outage, it kept spiking on and off, too. Yeah. So basically, we had brownouts from hell, and it blew the. the this is what I do for a living. This is scary. By the noise, I could tell that the power transformer was blown. Yep. And the company doesn't know when they're going to get in the box for us. So, I have TV. You know, we have our regular basic cable, but we don't have our high-def channels. And I don't have a DVR. And I have been DVRing the new Interview with the Vampire series on AMC. Because, hello, Interview with the Vampire. And I was going to watch them this week. Because life has finally calmed down this week a little bit. And I'm going to be in the house most of the week. I'm jealous. I'm not happy. My week isn't going to slow down for two to three weeks. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I mean, I've still got lots of stuff to do because I've got some fabrics that need dyed. And I've got to work, I've got to work on box fabrics and the such. So it's pretty busy. I mean, so I'm going to have stuff to do, but I was a little irritated with the whole cable box thing. Then they made it kind of difficult on me because they didn't believe me that we had checked it to make sure it was not working. And it was two days after the power problem because nobody called me back the day after. And I was in the middle of running around doing stuff to help over at the church, get ready for this ladies night out event that we had on Saturday. I basically told her that if they give you any problems, call me, put the speaker, put the phone on speakerphone, and I will demonstrate to them what happens when they anger a technician. Thankfully, they did not give me any problems. <clears throat> but. I'm sorry. A Transformers. If, oh, if you're wondering, the Transformer is what turns AC into DC, so that DC is what circuit boards actually use. And that part went... And it usually is what's killed when you don't have proper fusing between the transformer and the line voltage. Yes. So, yeah. I checked. They didn't have any fuses in the back of that thing. It was... It's been a fun week. It's been a week. I am still tired from Saturday. There was a lot of work. Shout out, Commodore Time? 
So, um, well, in a second. So, and yeah, I ended my week with Ladies Night Out at the church, which was a wonderful fundraiser for the church. And it was, it turned out well, and I didn't die calling designer purse bingo. They called designer purse bingo. I will not do that again. What's funny is, is when we went to church on Sunday, everybody complimented how good she was at it. Everybody actually was saying I did a really good job, and I'm like... Oh. And what's really funny is I took everything I had to sit there and go, yeah, I know, I trained her how to be loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, good times. Good times. So why don't we shout out our commenters and we can move this train right along because I do have a significant amount of haul. Hi, y'all. Choo-choo! <laughs> and if you're new here, no, I'm not putting on an act. This is how I act all the time. Give her compliments or sympathies at your leisure in the comment section below. I keep you entertained. Yes, you do. I don't like boring. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Pauline. Deep Girl Stitches. Uh, the cave, Craft Cave Dwellings, which is Angie. Who's Your Apple Cross Stitch. Bridget Drew. Janet. Lynn. Susie Scott. Andre. Andre. And something. And Teresa. Thank you. Fair warning. I'm not the best with names. If I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry. I can try to do better, but I don't know if it's going to work. I introduce myself to people and I say, you're going to tell them you're going to have to tell me your name five more times before I remember because I'm terrible. I am. I'm terrible. And of course, we have some of the easiest names in this language. Do you know I did not know another Laura until I was an adult? Which I don't know how many times I see Laura going, while I'm going to different companies. I know, but I'm just saying, I did not know another Laura until I was a grown adult. Well, that's good. I would have Joe's who freaking a fill a school bus. Yeah. Especially with my generation. Yeah. So, we thank you all for your wonderful comments. And you guys all thought that doing the teaching thing was a fabulous idea. I'm glad. I thought it was a good idea. Once yeah. we get past me and the work stuff we have to do, we'll start working on that. Past the holidays. Oh, you're going to wait all the way till then? Well, I have another... Um, craft fair to do the Saturday after Thanksgiving. <laughs> And it's just general busyness till the holidays. I mean, I gotta finish with the, the boxes by the first of December. Okay. All right. Then we'll then we'll, after the holidays, we'll begin training. I make no promises until after the holidays. Maybe before, but I make no promises. All right. Can we move this train along to whips? Yes. The monkey can press the button. Okay. Now pulling in to whip station. How did we become theme train theme this week? All you, all you, you're the one who said you need to move the train along, and I went with the choo choo joke. All right, old choo choo joke. Do you have whips this week? A little bit. I got something in. Ink circles, squirrels of Sumatra. It's just Lisa. hard to get a good view of this thing because it's so big. Mm -hmm. I got a couple more of these mounds. These mounds are what the top border. This is actually me marking. Oh, yeah. That's why I have this mark because I'm just counting them as I go. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and then it's stitched on. I totally forgot to write that down. 16 count Ada heirloom. I did write it down. I have to find it where it was. I know by the solar farm. And he is using a silks for you. I don't know what silks. What silk? Bluey. It's a blue. I'll probably forget to look it up and put it in the description box below. 
Yeah, um, I don't know why, but I wanted to do the squirrels as blue. There you go. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Okay, so, moving along. Did so, stuff say moving along, dear? We know we're moving along. I watch about the channel a lot. And the one <laughs> gal that's on the morning show, she'll like bunny hill into random things when they start talking about certain things. And she goes, but I digress. <laughs> I can start doing that. But it wasn't a bunny hill. That was me explaining my project. That's it. That has to do with this section. There was no bunny hills. There was no squirreling. There was no rabbit holes. I was on point. Okay. Okay. So. I was supposed to stitch on this on Sunday of last week, but I just didn't. I... Ran out of time, and I figured, well, I can stitch on it some other time. You know, I can stitch on it Monday and Tuesday. Because I stitched on it Monday and Tuesday. It is the best damn, damn band in the land. This is available from Craft Gallery in Finley, Ohio. It is the Script Ohio Marching Band. I use this for two prompts. Prompt one is something that had feet, because marching band people have feet. And something that had many components, because this has many marching band compo member components. I did a total of 567 stitches on it, and it is a finish. And there are little line hash lines for the field. And yes, this will be finished over at the craft gallery because they have a f uh, matting cut that looks like the Horseshoe Stadium in Columbus. Um, this is on a Slovak Farm solo because I don't remember what I did. It's not what I intended it to look like, but it's what I got, and it looks kind of cool. So, there we go. Yay! No, I need to make a second one. Because my aunt that lives in Columbus wants one. You're going to make four of those by the time you're done. Absolutely, I'm going to end up making more before we're done. Well, there's yeah. a reason why I said that number. You plus each of your aunts. I could see uh, my aunt that... I could see M.A. want one, but I don't know about the other one. Anyways. Okay. So, I did not have enough stitches to complete the components prompt. So, I stitched, I also stitched Be Happy, our Medina Needlework Guild um, shading class project. I used that for the rest of the components stitches, and... I also used it because stitch on something with bees. Well, even you even had the words. I know, but there's like lots of bees left. Um, so I did 351 stitches on this. This is just on a piece of white fabric. I have to flip my needle minder around because it's got curse word on it. So I have finished the beehives and their flowers and their bees. Um, this bee is a little too high. So I had to modify the border just a touch. It looks fine. And then I started the bee happy part. Oh, and I put the border in. So this was what I told you, 351 stitches. We are chugging along on this. They are framing this Thursday, next Tuesday, next Wednesday at the guild meeting. We're not taking the framing class because I know how to frame stuff. <laughs> okay. And I am not done. He hasn't even started it. I'm probably not going to. Well, fair enough. 
Santa. It's cute. It's a great pattern. The lady from our guild did really, really well. Not so, my circus. It's different shading techniques. So, like, the border is this color. You know, this is a solid DMC blue. This is a solid DMC blue. This is a variegated that's in between the two of them. This is letter shading one way. This is letter shading another way. Um, where This is where it's like three rows of each color. This, um, the rows kind of intersperse here in the middle. This is shading done with multiple strands of threads, like they do in dimensions kits and stuff. Um, most of the beehives are done worked with three strands of thread. Well, okay, so all of the beehives work with three strands of thread. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it does look really cool. Would you so, like to show the main reason I'm not that interested in that? Huh? I like monochromatics. I know. But it teaches us, it, it was, it, the purpose of the class was to teach us shading, different shading techniques. And different ways you can do shading. Oh, I'll so, probably stitch it eventually in one of these millennium. So, it was kind of fun. It was kind of cool. And then, um, I did not get a ton of stitching in this week because of the craziness with the church stuff. So, um, but I did stitch on my cell prompt, my cell piece, which is Supernaturals from the Witchy Stitcher. This is on a piece of Dirt Road by the Slovak Farm. The Banshee is all done. <laughs> She's done. She's outlined. The skulls are outlined. I finished. <clears throat> I want to say she was done last time I stitched on her, but. I finished the border. I, I took the border down to a good stopping spot. Um, and then I started on the frame for the next creature, which is the changeling. I am very vastly behind, but it's okay. <clears throat> I have a time when I get stuck. Then stop bringing up the fact you're behind. Don't give me that look. And finally, Saturday or Sunday was my stitch on <sighs> the as old as time Sunday. I thought, oh, I will do something easy and it will stitch the big blocks of color. So I realized it would be a lot easier to stitch the big blocks of color on this particular block if I had bell and the dresser and Mrs. Potts stitched in. So I am on Bell's room. This is a piece of silk weavers fabric. Don't ask me what the colorway is because I don't remember. I believe it's a 16 count, but again, I don't remember. And I, this one's hard to tell. Um, so I hold the project still, Laura. Need help? All right. So the block that is in the second row that's the only one that's got stitching in it. Here we go. I started working on the big blocks of color and then realized it would be a lot easier to do the big blocks of color if I had the dresser and Mrs. Potts and Belle stitched in. Um, this is a big block of color behind her. And then this background's all this color. So the next time I go to stitch it, I have nice big blocks of color to work on, but I didn't this time. Uh, I stitched on this for a monthly because fairy tales are universal, although they look different. They take different forms around the world in different places. So this was 357 stitches. And there's a lot left to do on this. And this project is the bane of my existence. Sorry. It's okay. That was my stitching for the week. I told you guys I didn't do a whole lot of stitching because I was just too bleh. Button time done. So we are going into haul. There's a decent amount of haul sitting here. BRB. And we're back. Haul, oh, y'all. 
I got hauled today. My wonderful friend Bridget, um, when I mentioned that I did not have the number four block of Fall on the Farm, said, oh, I'm done with mine. I will send you mine. And I said, okay, that is fabulous of you. So she sent me the number four block of Fall on the Farm along with a bunch of other stuff. She told me to keep what I wanted and give away what I didn't. So, I picked out what I wanted to keep. And what I wanted to give away. Um, so, this is from Sam Sarah Design Studios. It is called Drink Good Wine. I'd hope. And it comes with the little charms to make the little wine glass tags. This is another Sam Sarah design called Bake Fat Pies. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's adorable. <laughs> Let me see that piece. Again, comes with the beads or the buttons. This that is, awesome. is another Sam Sarah design that says Make Exceptions. Again, comes with little buttons. Super cute. Um, <coughs> and then Britter Cups, um, Britter Kitties Monthly Series. This is July and August because I love the little watermelon. But let's be real. That cat in the lounge chair with a martini is life. And then May and June, which is a beehive and two kitties playing. What? May said June. Actually, it says Perfect Pals. And it's got little bells. Well, that's what he's happening oh, to do. Oh, oh, I know exactly what I would do with that one if you let me. Okay, you can stitch June. Would you like to know the cute idea I had? What? Stitch one blue and stitch the other one purple. Mm. That would be cute. That would be cute. Um, and then she sent me little house needleworks <sighs> all balled up. It looks like a box of chocolates. And Country Cottage Needleworks, The Nativity. It says, uh, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which the, which, which is Christ the Lord. I've been eyeballing this for a while. So now I have it. Now I have to stitch it. So that's the stuff I'm keeping. I will show you the stuff that's going to be given away. Uh, this is another Sam Sarah design. It is a full kit. So it comes with fabric, floss, and the button. It is called Playtime. Yay. Um, this is what is this? Uh, Sing Singrid Designs Stocking Ornament Number Two. Very adorable. And then this is Simple Stitches. It's called Happy Halloween. The picture is not the greatest. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it. The shot. I don't. Not without your camera because I could. I didn't even see that when I was looking at it. Yeah, it's, it's not the greatest picture. So, it says Happy Halloween, and there's a witch face in it. That's not too bad. Okay. Contrast. Designers, contrast with your photos. Yes. And. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Really funny thing is, we actually watched a YouTube video, a channel we like called How Ridiculous, and they actually did flex tape versus heavy things dropped at 45 meters. It was fantastic. And flex tape loves to go, but wait, there's more. Yes. All, um, I don't know what we were doing. We were doing it several times during setup for the event over the weekend and doing flowers over at the church Friday morning. I kept doing that and Carol was like, I hate infomercials. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to stop? And she's like, no, it's funny. All right. I really didn't think I was going to get this. So, um, I got the Craftways Cross Stitch Christmas book. This year's is called Heart of the Holidays. So I did not get the book sent to me. I got the little offer thing that said, do you want this? Sorry, there's really bad, mad reflection. It's glossy. It's glossy. Oh, there we go. Um, 
and I sent the little thing back. Like I got the little thing that said, Hey, do you want this on a Friday? And I sent it back on a Monday and it was literally like a month and a half ago, if not two months ago. Angie, when did you get yours? Because I literally got my little, Hey, do you want this thing the day after Angie got her book? Um, I could probably go on YouTube and find it on her channel when she put up her flip through. I didn't think I was going to get this, but I did. Um, there's a few more of the charts that are in it. I am sure there are like tons of flip, through, flip throughs with this all over YouTube. I can do one if you guys want. Well, that require a lot of post-it notes. It will require some pieces of paper clipped to other parts, so I can't do it this video. If you really want to flip through that, tell me. Um, and then I got, and then it comes with a little freebie gift pattern thing, which is super cute. Um, back when I got the cross stitch calendar, everybody asked, was like, a couple people were like, how did you get this? Like, where did you get this from? So I know that the 2022 calendar is on which website for me to purchase as a, you know, as a shop. I'm thinking at some point the 2023 calendar may end up there. I'm not entirely sure, but I started getting the calendar after I ordered the Dimensions Scenic Farm Kit because it was only available through Hirschner's. And that's when I started getting the calendar. And for a couple of years, I got the offer for the book, but I never took the offer for the book. I wanted this year's book. So I'm kind of hoping that because I'm buying this year's book, next year I just get the book automatically to look at and say, oh yeah, I'm going to keep this because I probably will. <laughs> um, so if you're looking on how, to, I don't know that you, they do have a couple of the past cross stitch Christmas books up on Harshner's website, but that is how I'm assuming you get this stuff sent to you. Um, so there you go. So if, if you're interested in them, it's the best way I can tell you to be able to receive them. All right, so let's move on to plans and announcements. Okay. Plans and announcements. Plans. Not succumbing to the infinite dread that is my job right now. I'm sorry. Just a quick recap. Basically, somebody quit a month before a big audit that we have with one of our customers. And it turns out, I guess they knew they were quitting and when they were quitting for a while. Because I have literally played nothing but firefighting. One disaster after another. For weeks. That's all I've been doing. <sighs> Like, I'm looking at the person in charge going, why did you allow this? This is wrong. This isn't how it's supposed to be. Why did you allow this? <sighs> I can answer the question, but I'm not going to on any form of public media. Mm -hmm. Probably not the best idea. And you can probably guess what my opinions are. Yes. But otherwise... How about you, my lovely, lovely angel? Well. <sighs> Deep subject. So this week is Smoky Mountains Week in Daily 30. Prompts, <laughs> prompts written by the wonderful cat who is, I believe, Cross Stitch Chaos on Floss Tube and my friend. <sighs> Um, so all of the prompts are about the Great Smoky Mountains, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, which is in mostly Tennessee. Um, I believe it stretches a little bit into, no, yes, it does stretch a little bit into North Carolina. I would know. I wrote the intro for it for her. Okay. <clears throat> so 
I'm going to read the prompts, but here's the thing. Probably going to do alternative stitches for most of these because I need to get my ornament, my sweater ornament done before the guild challenge for the 1st of December. And I probably won't need a huge amount of time to stitch it, but finishing it, I'm going to need time to finish it. So I need to go shopping this weekend for that. We keep not doing that. Okay. So, <sighs> stitch on a piece you have visited the most. Piece with the most stitches in it. Um, I mean, that's pretty easy selection if I were to go for the actual, like, prompt. Um... Stitch on a piece you can relate to hiking. I don't think I can relate my Christmas sweater to hiking. Oh, well, let's see. Both make you sweat. Both make you sweat. If you go hiking in... Oh, are there reindeer in Denali National Park? I may have to look into that. I don't think there are any reindeer south of the most northern of the states. They can't Alaska handle... Alaska is where Denali <laughs> National Park is. Um, I may have to look and see if you can see reindeer while sports. hiking in a national park. It doesn't have to be in Gatlinburg or in the Smoky uh, Okay, see, that's why I was confused. See I'm speaking confused? of Gatlinburg, I had an idea we, could, we need to discuss later. Anyways, stitch in a piece with tree or plants. Ain't no tree or plants on this sweater, it's a reindeer. Um, stitch... On a piece that you are sti stitching in synchronization <laughs> with someone else. Not going to apply to that. Stitch on a piece you can relate to history. I'm pretty sure I can relate the Christmas sweater to history somehow. Um, and then the style prompt, which will be <laughs> the actuals. So. Um, you want to hear a really stupid one for the plant one? That would probably make Cat die laughing if so if you hear this, let me know. If you use all cotton thread, then you are stitching with a plant. He's not wrong. I... <laughs> <laughs> and I think linen's from a plant, too. <laughs> I'm gonna say that as a greener, I would not accept that, but... There you go. What is the plans for the week? <laughs> Any announcements? I had something in my brain and now it's gone. Do I pause the video while you find it? No. <laughs> no. Okay. So. That's plans. I don't have any grand announcements, <laughs> but... We're going to give away some shit. Some stuff. Yeah. If you would like the stocking ornament chart, what word do we want them to use in their comment? Want to hear the random thing that entered my head? Sure. Power Rangers. If you would like to win the stocking ornament, please put Power Rangers in your comments. Please, you know the whole don't put free, don't put any of that stuff, because that might get the bots involved. Don't put free, don't put giveaway, blah, 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 blah. Must be 18 or older. I will uh, mail this. U.S., I believe. I can mail this internationally. Oh. It's not that big. It won't take up too much postage. It'll just take a regular stamp, and that's not that expensive. But if it's um, international, I don't know when you're getting it. If it's international, I don't know when you're getting it. If it's, if it's international, I can't guarantee you won't have to pay customs or duties on it. So please be aware of that. I will not pay those for you. And um, you don't have to really use Power Rangers in a sentence, but if you can use Power Rangers in a sentence and relate it to this video, I will be impressed. Um, I don't use one of those programs because we just don't get enough comments. I just write down who put, used the word. The word is just the easiest way for me to say, okay, you want entered in the giveaway. And if you use it in a sentence, 
highlight the words Power Ranger and hit Control B. That'll bold it. I think. I think YouTube uses the standardized. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. I'll take. I'll Let me know if it works or doesn't work. If you try it, I'm actually curious now. Yes. I have been using computers so long. I remember all the shortcut commands from DOS. So, um, you have until noon on Monday, October thirty first, to enter the giveaway. We will be doing it in our next video, which will be the 31st, the, 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 the evening, probably after Trick or Treat Day. Actually, you just want to film on Tuesday and let them know now we'll be late a day, so we don't have to worry about trying to stack too many bunnies in one hill. Trick or Treat's only until I think 7 or 7.30, so it oh, okay. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Friday, I'm doing Trunk or Treat over at the church. I'm playing, I'm playing D D. So that'll be fun. Okay. So that is that. That is that. That is all I have to give you guys today. My turn. Spiel time. Please like, comment, subscribe, bell notification, thingy me Bobby. The whole YouTube thing. And in all seriousness. If you like creators on this platform, please do that for all of them. YouTube's evil. They need all the help they can get. Okay, we're good? We're good. Okay. I'm going to find the envelope of Bill for my book. Right. Bye. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs>